color I want. So as soon as I press A right here. All right, so in three, two, one, go. All right. So right off the bat, we are forced into this uh, sort of tutorial area. Um, but fortunately, we can just uh, go right out of it, and we don't actually have to do anything in it. Once we've entered it, we can just leave and go into the first level. So now we get into the bulk of the run, which is very weird. So basically, every single level in this game is randomly generated from a set number of puzzle pieces that uh, have been pre-made by the people who made the game. And so basically, what my job to do here is to basically figure out what uh, RNG I have and cope with it, <laughs> and try and just do it as fast as I possibly can. So yeah, this, literally speedrunning this game is what I would call basically the Zelda equivalent of speedrunning Spelunky, or like Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories or something, because <laughs> there is a lot of real, just a ton of RNG in this game. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So right off the bat, the very first uh, world that I'm in is the, uh, there, there are three worlds in this game. There are, there's, um, or actually, okay, there, sorry, there are four worlds in this game, including the last, the last one. The first one is the, uh, Tr Sea of Trees, I believe it was called. Um, the second one is Talus Cave. The third one is, I believe, Death Mountain. And then the fourth one is, uh, Vati's Palace, which will be where the final boss is. And the way that each of these uh, worlds work is you have two levels of just completely randomly generated levels, and then you have a boss fight. Uh, and the boss fight is always the s always going to be the same. Uh, so yeah, now right here I got actually not too bad of luck uh, in, in the very first level. Oh yeah, and uh, in order to end each level, you you have to get both of your characters into uh, these little, little portal things here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, ooh. Oh, man. I was hoping I wouldn't get this one. So this one, unfortunately, is the one that takes the longest, uh, in this area, at least. So the, the point with this, uh, this RNG seed is that there is... A, there are four keys in this room somewhere, uh, and they are in random chests, uh... They're usually within a select few number of chests, um... I think those two can have them, but they didn't this time, so I'm gonna have to go around to these ones. Um, there's one. All right. So then, uh, another one. There's another. There should be another one just down this way, um, up in here. Uh, oh, and actually, there's one more thing that I should explain. So each uh, time you break a a, uh, a bush, there it has a chance of dropping one of three different power-ups. It has a defense power-up, which is completely worthless and I do not want. Um, <laughs> there is a speed one, which makes Link both Links move faster. Uh, and that is one that I do want, because um, it, it'll end up speeding up this area a lot. And the other one or speeding up just, yeah, general movement. And the other is attack, which will speed up the boss fights a lot. And that is also something that I want. Um, so now, I mean, I already have, oh, you have a, there are two levels of each, um, each of them. So like, you can collect two of them to upgrade it to level two. And then after that, uh, you can't upgrade it anymore. So, so yeah, that's basically, I mean, I already have basically all of the power-ups I possibly can. Uh, now, there should be a key in one of these ones. That one. All right. And now there should be one more up in the top right corner. I think there might actually be five keys in this room, and you only need four of them. Uh, but there should be one more just over here. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate I got this luck, because this luck is not very good. <laughs> yeah, there's one key right there, so... At this point, I just need to kind of go through all of these... Uh, bushes and get to the, the final part. And then we get our first boss battle. Uh, oops. This way. Alright. Uh, there we go. Alright. Uh, that's a good question. I wasn't dashing because I completely forgot that I had the, uh, the boots. <laughs> so that's just, that's the other thing about this is that I mean, it's so random, so things change all the time, and so you really have to be, uh, you have to pay attention to what's going on. Otherwise, you'll miss things like the fact that I had the, uh, the, 
the uh, the boots, <laughs> Pegasus boots. Uh, all right, so for this boss, what I had to do is first I had to do some attacks on each of those flowers with the uh, respective color of Ling, and then I want to pull these out and then start attacking. Now, because I have an attack up, uh, or two attack up gems, that's only gonna take like four or five hits. Uh, if you didn't have any, it would take seven hits. And then right after that, I just want to uh, get into these. I tried setting up both links at the right spot and then it just, uh, I was just a little bit off. Uh, dashing does not break your, uh, it really depends who you who you dash with actually. If you dash with the green link, which is the, the main link, um, then both of them will dash, but if you dash with the other link that you have, it's, uh, only that link will dash. But either way, you can still call each link to, uh, to the other link, so it doesn't really matter. All right. So after each world, unfortunately, there is quite a bit of downtime because we have this cutscene that's playing, and there isn't anything we can do about this. So, like, I can mash A or B or whatever as fast as I possibly can, nothing's gonna happen. The text automatically advances, and it's literally just an auto-scroller of a cutscene. So, this is gonna happen after each world, except the last one, obviously. And, yeah, we just kinda have to sit through it, so... So after this world, uh, the Sea of Trees, we're gonna move over to Talus Cave. Um, the levels, uh, the level order doesn't actually matter what uh, what order you do them in. You can kind of do, the, it, they open up as soon as you finish with the tutorial area, and so you can literally just go to any of them. I personally like going them going to them in this this order because it actually, like, it, it sort of lines me up with the last, the last world better on the world map. Um, and it's also kind of like an increasing difficulty, I guess. Uh, oops, I missed that. <laughs> okay. Oh. This is... Okay, I missed I miss the cycle there, which it's a pretty hard cycle to meet, this uh, RNG seed. Alright. At this point, I can just do that and dash up here. And then we just want to jump down here with this RNG seed. Um, so whenever you're dashing with the Pegasus boots, you can move left and right a little bit to correct your direction, but ultimately it's not going to matter too much, or it's not going to change your direction that much. All right. So then whenever you enter water, you actually want to be mashing A because you don't actually really move in water if you don't do that. Uh, so right here, I actually also got some bad luck. Um, this is not a very good... And especially since I just did that. Um, I was I was trying to call my, uh, my guy to the other side. Um, so the item that I just got here is the magnet beam, or whatever it's called, I don't know it's called, but uh, it's a magnet thing, and basically I can pull each uh, of the other colored links to, uh, to, towards the other link with it, which I think that's in uh, some other Zelda games as well. Oh, uh, so yeah, the, the one key that I need to get here is right here, uh, up in this area. It'll be one of these ones if I want that. All right, it was that one, so now I can just call this guy to me. I'm gonna grab this real quick and start dashing. And get to here, and then we are done with this level. So honestly, a very, a good, like, goal time, because each, as you can sort of see on the bottom screen there, each uh, level has a bit of a time limit, or not a time limit, but the game actually sort of keeps track of time. Uh, and so a good time, especially for the later levels, like in Talos Cave and Death Mountain, you kind of want a time that's roughly around like a minute and a half to a minute 45, or at least that's what I kind of aim for. Um, so yeah. Now right here, uh, one of these should have, I believe it was that one? Yes, it was, okay. Uh, so actually I think I got very good luck here. Um, oh, no, wait, uh, no. I knew that was too good, too good to be true. Um, wait. Okay, now I'm a little confused where I'm supposed to go. So that's the other thing is that, um, because of course how ra with how random this game is, sometimes you'll just see stuff that you've never seen before, even if you've sped around the game a for a while. Okay, here's where I need. Uh, so yeah, that's a little unfortunate that uh, that happened, but uh, oh well. <laughs> now these platforms are really hard to control. Um, okay. 
And I should have just have to kill these guys, I believe. If I can even do that. Uh, with the bombs, the way the bombs work is you actually can detonate them whenever you drop them, basically. Uh, you just need to press the same button uh, that you use to pull it up. Um, oh, and there's even another enemy I have to kill here. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how bombs work, and it's very useful that they that they work like that. This guy's taking a little bit to die. There we go. Should be all of them. Yep. So now I can just progress forward. You go this way, and then I'll have to kill a few guys in here. These guys, I will have to. Oops. I'll have to attack these guys once. Uh, call this guy to me, pick it up, throw it, and then start slashing it. That's how these guys work. Uh, or I can just knock them right into the void there, that works too. <laughs> uh, for this next fight, what have we got? Probably have, yep, yeah, these guys. These guys is very morbid, you literally have to stretch them to death. Um, oh, this is bad, that's bad luck. <laughs> So the other thing is you can't stretch these guys out unless uh, you can actually move far enough. So I... Um, <laughs> this doesn't usually happen. Okay, there we go. So yeah, you actually have to have room to be able to stretch them. So that was just a little bit unfortunate there. <laughs> this last one should just be, yeah, these guys. So these guys, you have to attack them a bunch in a uh, little amount of time, otherwise they'll, uh, like, start regenerating a little bit. So you just have to hit them four times really quickly, and then you can move on. All right, and after this, I don't have a key. I think I get a key, though. I think. If not, then, uh, I'm not sure where I'm going. I gotta go back to the main area. And sometimes these things will appear where there's just a lot of rupees that appear. Yeah, right there, we gotta keep. Uh, so yeah, and that's so that's actually uh, the thing about this game. Uh, this game, the main like sort of point of it is you're supposed to be collecting a lot of rupees as you go along. But uh, of course, that just wastes time, and you don't actually need to do that to be able to beat the game. So there's just no reason to do it. All right, so now we have the boss of Talus Cave, which is this guy. I don't actually know. I don't know what the names of any of these are. Um, but yeah, basically what the deal is with this guy, you need to slash him out of his ice, and then you need to use the Pegasus boots to push him into the ice onto the right there. Uh, and I should be able to do this in just a little bit of a uh, few hits there. And then for some reason, you actually have to wait a long time to be able to, like between attacks here. Uh, and I'm gonna switch to these again. Now this guy also has a little bit of a pattern he follows. Um, it's not the same every single time. He'll it, he can choose which direction to go, but he always goes to one of nine different points uh, in like a little square grid. So, and now right here, this part is actually kind of interesting. There's a bit of a speed strat here. Uh, so basically, I need to figure out which um, which uh, ball I can actually attack, and then I want to do a bunch of different. Oops. Okay, that was weird. I want to do a bunch of different attacks uh, on him. And then after a little bit, I actually want to intentionally attack his body and take damage, uh, which sort of stops his um, his in invulnerability, or, or it makes him vulner invulnerable again for a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, the commentary is going to be a little bit desynced because um, just of stream delays. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. I didn't even realize how long those guys' arms were, or the fairy's arms were.
Uh, the money doesn't actually have any use in this game. It's just supposed to be like, well, I think it has a use if you want to get 100%, but that's not the point here. I just re-entered Talus Cave. I was trying to hit up, but I hit it a little bit too early. All right, there we go. Uh, all right. So the Rock's Feather lets us jump, and the good thing about this is that, um... The good thing about this is that actually, um, the Rock's Feather makes you move a little bit faster. Come on. Should be coming over. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I want to switch back to the Rock's Feather, probably. Oh, wait, actually, uh, there we go. That's what I want. Actually, I think they both want to have, um... Okay, sorry, this is how you want to do it. You want to go this way, this guy over here, and then use the Magnet Beam. What? <laughs> okay, that was just... that wasn't my fault. <laughs> that one was... Okay. Switch and then do that, okay. don't want to get eaten by the like lake. Uh, so one other thing about this game is that whenever you, or your partner, whenever they're separated, uh, they actually can't take damage. Um, and so that's a good way to avoid some damage. Uh, now right here. I think I want to actually be up uh, for this one. Get down. Yeah, so unfortunately this part is a little bit random based. Oh, especially this part. <laughs> I think each of these rooms can have a random thing inside of it, like a random setup. Do believe... Uh... Nope, that's not gonna work. No, I wanna go this way, okay. Here we go. This is where I wanna be. And get this one, and go down this way. Uh, those traps will just, of course, go at you if you uh, go in their line of sight. Alright. Also, Death Mountain is, like, probably the hardest. It's actually harder, in my opinion, than the, uh... Oh, that's another thing that I should bring up. Um... <laughs> so, the way game overs work in this game... Uh, whenever you die, it actually uses rupees to revive you. Uh, you need 50 rupees the first time, and then it goes up by 50 rupee increments each time uh, you die. And if you don't have any, it, when you game over, you just go back to the very first, uh, or you go back to the map screen, basically. Alright, now I already have one of the Minish Caps, so I don't even need to bother uh, grabbing another one. Alright, now right here, we'll go through this way, I need to- Oh no wait, I don't even need to do that, that's the, uh, casual strat. <laughs> Alright. Ah, okay, so this is this luck. <laughs> yeah, this Zelda's definitely pay to win. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, where are the boomerangs? Oh yeah, they're up here. Yeah, the boomerang just works the same way any boomerang works. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna need to bring this. Uh... Oops, I totally just uh, broke. Okay, I need to. All right, so basically, this um, for this one, I need to put these here, and then there'll be a chest. Uh, it has a chance to have the rupee in it. Oops, I need the the crystal still. Uh, I need to grab the chest as well. Alright, that was it. So then I can just come down here and we're done with this one. That went a lot more, a lot smoother than the other one did. Alright. Also, all of the heart containers that you get disappear after you finish the level, so that's why I don't usually want to be collecting too many. And now this boss is actually the most annoying boss. So basically, the way that this boss works is he'll shoot out a ball of some color. You have to hit it with, uh, the right colored guy, and then you have to hit the- or you have to just kind of keep hitting these guys until you find the right one. Uh, so it's this one right here. 
and then you just kind of have to wail on it until it dies. But the problem with this fight is that whenever you get hit by fire, uh, getting hit by fire is like a really bad thing in this game because you kind of lose all control over all of your characters <laughs> or like the character that you're controlling. And so it's really bad. <laughs> so I, I'm going to try to avoid getting hit by fire as much as possible. And with the three hits, he's dead, so I can just uh, finish the level, please. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that fight's a little weird. <laughs> All right, so now uh, this last uh, this last little section right here, uh, this cutscene lasts a little bit longer than the other one does, just because we have to go through a little bit more text, and uh, also we have to watch the opening of the next level. Also, I have a question to ask you guys. The start of the next level has me entering one of two doors, and it honestly doesn't really matter which door that I enter, but which should I enter, the left door or the right door? Also, yeah, this is definitely the two sword, not the four sword. <laughs> yes, this is being played on 3DS. Let's see, I see a bunch of rights. Oh, I'm seeing more lefts now. Okay, well, I'm seeing mostly left, so uh, I guess I'm gonna go, I gotta go left. I normally go right when I do ones, but uh, I'm going left this time. <laughs> Thank you for your input, guys. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, now after this, now after we've beaten all three of those levels, the last level, which is uh, Vati's Palace, opens up. And then we can just go into that just like any other level. And it works the same as every other level. Alright, so I'm going into the right. I hit the right door. I don't know why it didn't go in the right door. Or the left, sorry. Oh, not this one. So for some reason, it just didn't go into the left door. I, I'm sorry, guys, but it didn't work. <laughs> Oops, I need to go down here. Uh, these work in a really weird way. You kind of have to get close to them, and then they sometimes work. <laughs> I swear I tried pressing right, but it opened up the left door. Or the, the other way around. I tried pressing left, but it opened up the right door. Alright, so those guys, you just kind of have to attack them, and then throw them into the fire, and that blows them up. <laughs> Reset, I'm sorry. Uh, oops, I don't need to do it that way. <laughs> scammed. See, jokes on you. I totally just scammed you guys because uh, the right there there is no actual way to open the the left door. I'm just kidding about that. I I swear there is a way. I just for some reason it didn't work this time. Maybe I pressed the A button first and it defaults to the right or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So those you can, those walls there, you just kind of have to slash a bunch until they they work for you. Oops. That was dumb of me. There we go. Just gotta push this and then... Actually, wait, I don't even need to... It's the next one that I have to do this on. I am having a hard time with this. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want that. I want the other one. And then I want to bring this guy down here. Okay. <laughs> Unsubbed. Uh, Alright, by doing that, that spawns a couple treasure chests, which I will be using to... Uh, which I'll be using to get a key. Alright. Oh man, got the wrong one. Okay. Oh wait, what? Where was the key? Did I already get the key? I didn't get the key. Where was the key? There was a key in there. Did I just get scammed? <laughs> I think it uh, serves me right for uh, scamming all of you guys. <laughs> I swear that... Did I seriously not grab that? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll accept it. <laughs> <laughs> all right and then we just gotta go to the end of the level here all right so that's the first one now we just got one more <laughs> all right so yeah sometimes you just have to wait for moving platforms in this you can actually oh well, okay, I kind of dropped him by accident, but you can throw him across gaps of three, that are three squares wide. Alright. Gotta get a bow here. So this one will have a bunch of, I need to shoot the, both of these eyes. You'll see some of these eye switches around sometimes. Uh, and then at this point, I uh, just gotta go this way. So, like, all of these uh, things that I see here, like, I've seen these seeds all before, so I just kind of have to figure out which one I've got, which doesn't always go super well, but... Alright, so right here, all these... And moving on ice is really slow. <laughs> Alright, none of those are gonna have any keys in them. I believe these ones have the key. One of these ones. Not that one. Please don't tell me all of these have rupees in them. I think they all have rupees in them. They all had rupees in them. I got scammed. Only in this game can you get scammed by getting rupees. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, these guys just take a bunch of hits and then they're down. Alright, so it'll be in one of these. Oh, it was this one, okay. <laughs> uh, and it's on the other side. We gotta go through this door up here. Alright, and after this, we have we are entering the final boss, so time is gonna be when I finish the final boss. The final boss has two phases. Alright. for scams anniversary edition nice <laughs> i only got scammed three times though actually no i did the scamming once <laughs> all right so yeah this is bati um the sinister evil one of this game uh he really all he did was kidnap zelda this the literally the plot of this game is basically every mario game <laughs> literally like Vati kidnaps uh, Princess Zelda, and we have to go rescue her. That's basically it. It's like if Mario was a an action adventure game. <laughs> All right. So the way that this fight works, right off the bat, I'm going to be going and grabbing one of the bombs there out in the uh, in the uh, off, off on the sides there. And then this guy's gonna have a whirlwind underneath him, and I just want to throw bombs in, into it, and then time an explosion right when it's like right at him. So I'm gonna try doing this. All right, so right there, and then you need to do this three times. Excuse me, uh, until he's on the ground. And then you just want to do a bunch of slashes. You want to do, you want to get about eight or nine slashes per uh, cycle. If you if you did get a damage upgrade, it would take a lot less. Like cycle one would already be done if I had a full damage or yeah, full damage boosts, but I of course wasn't able to get that. Oops. So this should end right away here. Oh, maybe not. I might have one more cycle. Oops. Totally missed that. If you wait too long, he'll uh, <laughs> raise up a little bit again. And you'll have to do one more bomb. All right, so this should be yeah, right there. He had one more hit. All right, and now you might think that the game is done, but it's not. That's a big, uh, big spoiler there. Um, <laughs> so we have one more phase of the final boss. <laughs> so yeah, this phase is a lot easier i guess actually no it's a little bit harder but it's it's still pretty easy most of this game is honestly really easy 
Uh, so he's probably going to start off with, um, yes, this attack right here, the arms attack. Uh, he's going to start spinning around in a little bit, and we need to just avoid him. Then eventually he'll go back up into this little area right here where I'm standing. Uh, and once he does that, he'll open up one of his uh, hand flower things, and we have to hit him in a certain order. So I need the green guy on the left there. And then I just want to slash a few times until he turns white there and then get out of the way before the uh, the attacks actually hit me. And then he's going to do it again. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, we're overestimate, but honestly, with a, such an RNG related or RNG heavy game, it's not too surprising. I thought I made the estimate safe enough, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, see, ARMS came out for the Nintendo DSi a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know what Nintendo thinks. They're making, like, original games. Pfft. No. <laughs> Alright, so this should last one more cycle here, hitting the, uh, hitting the guy uh, right here. Yeah, we should... Oh, did I just... Oh, apparently he's gonna maybe go in one more cycle? Oh, nope, not quite. Okay, so now he gets this. I, this is actually a bit of a rare phase. Um, I don't see this too often. He can deflect each of these balls into him, and each of them can attack him, but of course it's kind of hard to do. Uh, now after this, he should hopefully be coming into the center uh, for his next phase. Yeah, right here. Uh, his phase, like, what order he does his phases in is somewhat random. Uh, he'll shoot out a ball that I just have to hit twice, similar to the second last boss. Uh, and this should be... there. I think I actually have one more hit, maybe two, so get ready on time. It... Really depends if it's one more, one or two more hits. He can also choose to do that attack right there, right here, but uh, usually only does it once. Okay, yeah, right there. Time. Uh, I don't think you could RNG manipulate this game. I don't know enough about RNG manipulation, but... Uh, or at least in most games, and in, it, it might be possible, I don't know. But anyways, that is The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition. Uh, it took, my timer says 31.29, and yeah, ultimately that was that was decent. I got some bad luck, specifically in Talus Cave. I got some really bad luck there, but uh, the rest was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, well, we oh. going, well, that? It was a really cool run, really nice to see. Oh, so thanks. <laughs> Okay. And it wasn't much at all, so it's fine, that's fine. Don't worry about going over f really cool. <laughs> yeah, no, well, with this game, honestly, it's super RNG-based, so... And it wasn't much yeah. at all, so it's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for showing off this relatively unknown game. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Four minutes over Estimate Anniversary Edition. Hey, it was only one minute. And a half. <laughs>